good morning dear students today we are going to start our chapter 6 rocks and minerals in my previous video i have told you about different types of rocks in this video i will tell you about different types of minerals what are they what are the minerals so dear students minerals are the natural inorganic solids with definite chemical composition and structure means these are the natural resources which are found in the earth crust and whose composition chemical composition is and structure is same fixed so these rocks or minerals are of two types these minerals are of two types metallic minerals and non metallic minerals so here you can see the classification of mineral resources minerals are of two types metallic minerals and non metallic minerals metallic minerals are of again two types you can say ferrous and non ferrous ferrous means uh, examples of ferrous are iron cobalt and nickel which has iron and non ferrous copper lead tin bauxite etc and third type is also the precious one metallic minerals which are silver gold and platinum from which jewelry is and coins are made next type of minerals are non metallic minerals example potassium sulfur mica and different types of salts and third type of minerals are the sources which gives us energy and who gives us energy coal and fossil fuels like petroleum and natural gas they give us energy so student first of all we will discuss about metallic minerals so students what are the metallic minerals a few minerals which are present in the rocks and contain metal in them they are called metallic minerals so from these metallic minerals metals can be extracted metals can be taken out profitably so they are called the ores so we have different types of ores for the metals hematite is the ore of iron bauxite is the ore of aluminium and calamine are the some ores so we get metals iron aluminium copper and zinc from these ores here in this picture we are seeing the gold this pyrite means iron magnetite iron and copper nugget means copper so all these you are seeing are the different types of metallic ores which are used for making jewelry now we come to our next type of minerals non metallic minerals so what are these non metallic minerals some minerals which do not have metals in them they are called non metallic minerals they don't have luster they don't shine they are called non metallic minerals so here you can see this limestone marble gravel clay sand these are non metallic minerals now there are some other non metallic minerals also which are called gemstones so many of the minerals are found in the form of crystals they are very hard and they can be cut and polished to make the gemstones and they are used in the jewelry so diamond you can say here emerald blue sapphire red coral pearl yellow sapphire ruby and rudraksh all these are the different types of gemstones which people use for making jewelry now we come to the next type of the uh, minerals which are the fossil fuels so why they are called fossil fuels what are the fossil fuels fossil fuels are called fossil fuels because they are obtained from the fossils and what are fossils fossils are the dead remains of plants and animals which get buried under the water or under the rocks and they changes into the fossils it means dead plants and dead animals they changes into fossils and from these fossils when they get buried under high pressure high temperature they changes into fuels so what are these fossil fuels so i have discussed you fossil fuels are the natural fuels formed in the geological past from the remains of living organism after decomposition so there are three types of fossil fuels coal oil petroleum we can say and gas natural gas so here you can you can see the classification of different type of fossil fuel coal which is black in color 
coin turf and this is crude oil petroleum which is also called the black gold and third one is a natural gas now first of all we come to this is the coal mine so when you are seeing the picture of the coal mine here coal is coal extraction is going on so students here i want to tell you about how the coal is formed students do you know it is formed from the dead plants million of years ago swampy forest covered a large area of the earth but when the plant died they fell into the swamp and began to decay more layers of dead plants mud and sand deposit it over and due to continuous deposition of the layers and due to high temperature and pressure they changes into coal so coal is formed it takes million of years for their formation and coal is used for different purposes it is used as fuel for cooking and heating the houses in earlier time the train were also used to run by the coal it is also used in the factories to run the machines and in power houses to generate electricity so this is all about the coal now we come to our next type of the fossil fuel that is petroleum so do you know we call petroleum a black coal why it is called black coal because after refining of this uh, petroleum we get a number of valuable products so i will tell you that later on first of all we discuss how the petroleum is formed student it is formed from the dead remains of the land and sea creature in the sea a number of creatures they lived and when they die after their death they buried down under the ocean or million for the million of years ago and again and again the layers and the layers they get deposited over them the sand and silt they deposit over the dead remains of plants and animals as more and more sediments deposit over them then due to heat and pressure gradually they change into the petroleum at the bottom and also natural gases form so this is the procedure how the petroleum form so it also takes million of years for the formation of petroleum so we can say this petroleum which we obtain from the sea or ocean from the bottom of the sea or ocean that is white crude oil means it is a sticky black colored crude oil which can't be used as it is so its uh, fractional distillation is done after extraction and a number of valuable products we get from after the refining of the petroleum so we obtain lpg gas which is used in uh, home for cooking the food which is filled in the cylinders and also we get petrol which is used as a fuel in motor vehicles industries and for the dry cleaning purposes kerosene which is used as a fuel in the stoves lamps and also in the aircrafts also we get diesel it is also used in electric generators and heavy motor vehicles lubricating oil also we get from it it is used for lubrication in the machinery paraffin wax paraffin wax that we get from petroleum is used to make polish candles and waterproof cartons bitumen bitumen is also used to manufacture paints for road surfaces so it means we get a number of valuable products after the refining of petroleum so we can say it is a black gold for us so with this student i end up my video and i thank you for watching the video and if you like my video you will press the like button and if you have any comments then you can write in the comment box have a good day student